topic. I'm just kidding, but we are going to be talking about caterpillars and butterflies today. If you've been following along the past few vlogs, I found these caterpillars in the garden and I was doing a bit of research on milkweed and monarch butterflies and caterpillars and basically I decided to take them in and monitor them and raise them because if you're able to do this, you can potentially set them up for greater success and being able to be re released as butterflies. And I just added milkweed to the garden, which monarch butterflies exclusively feed on milkweed. So that is their host plant. They don't like to eat anything else. And with that being said, it's kind of a fine line because most of the time when you get milkweed, there probably is eggs on the leaves already, which will hatch caterpillars. But if you don't have enough to sustain them in your garden, they'll be foodless. So I decided to take them in, put them under my wing, and it's been such a beautiful, awe-inspiring journey to watch these caterpillars grow from itty-bitty little creatures to these two-inch colorful well they only have two colors mainly but they are just so saturated in the yellow and black it's just absolutely beautiful and let me show you what i woke up to this morning we have a very exciting caterpillar update it is truly unbelievable let me show you one of the caterpillars has transformed into the chrysalis it's so wild it was hanging like this one is over here for about I would say 15 to 24 hours. I don't know when it first started hanging like that, but that one is about to pupate any minute now. And then we also have one right here that I just, it took me a little bit to find because it was in a different corner a little while ago. But this one is going to be transforming soon as well. And then we still have one eating down here. So hopefully that one will make its way up and start to transform but this is truly the most incredible experience so it was very exciting to find the chrysalis this morning and i saw that one of the caterpillars looked like it was about to transform and pupate as well so i set up my desk i moved it now but i took my laptop and brought the the net that i have the caterpillars inside so that i could keep an eye on them and I was able to witness it transforming and creating the chrysalis. So that was just absolutely unreal. I, it just felt so serendipitous that I was able to see this transformation because I'm pretty sure, it's hard to say, but I'm pretty sure the one that transformed yesterday happened during the nighttime. So the odds that I was home and able to see this happen was just so special to me and I'm so grateful I got to see this because this whole process has just been really just so dreamy and heavenly that I'm able to see this happen it's it's really really special and this morning all of these articles were posted about monarch but butterflies specifically getting added to the endangered species list so I'll link a few articles below but this was also sort of I don't know it's just been a roller coaster of emotions to witness this and then think of a world without these butterflies so i've just been <laughs> i'm i'm in my butterfly activist era a hundred percent and i think it's gonna be an era that lasts forever but yes so i just wanted to share a couple sort of sort of facts about these monarch butterflies so monarch butterflies they specifically feed on milkweed that is their host plant like i've mentioned before and with that being said with the habitat loss and everything it's hard for them to find milkweed so if you are able to go to your local garden center or your community and source out some native milkweed plants or seeds that is a really simple way to help the butterflies and you can plant it within your garden and like I said, they do eat a lot, so I'm personally running out of milkweed myself. So I've started planting seeds throughout the yard, so hopefully it'll continue to grow and then we'll have that habitat for them. But that, oh, and I, I meant to say monarch um, caterpillars. They, they specifically 
feed on the milkweed. So there's just so much that goes into their life and the success of their life. So it's been really interesting to learn about and I'll continue to share the process as we go, but let's go check on them. I'm gonna keep them inside from now on because I'm gonna take the milkweed pot out of the net so that it can go outside and hopefully continue to grow because like I said, we need more milkweed. But I was really concerned. Okay, good. He's climbing up. So we have two of the chrysalis on that side and that side. And then this little guy is going to begin to make his chrysalis any moment now. And then this little guy in the other corner. I love how they just each picked their own corner. Oop, that one just <laughs> left us a present. Okay, but this one, I was so worried about him um, earlier this morning because look at what he did. He threw up everywhere, seriously. And that is not a good sign, unfortunately. That can mean that they got poisoned potentially by something on the plant, or it can mean a variety of different things. But I was also researching, it could just, sometimes they clear their, I don't even know what to call it, but they need to clear out what they consumed before making their chrysalis. So I was thinking maybe that's what it was, but he seems to be kicking it still. So I'm really hoping he, he is able to transform, but that was a bit alarming because none of the others did that. I just wanted to clarify that I kept saying monarch butterflies exclusively feed on the milkweed, but it's monarch caterpillars that the, the host plant is milkweed. The butterflies, they will feed on the pollen of many different types of flowers. So that's good, but of course you need the monarch caterpillars to have monarch butterflies. So it's all connected, but you can get the milkweed. I got mine from my neighbor, which was so helpful because you really want that native milkweed, but you can also check your local garden center or order seeds online, but it's just, it's just important that it's native to your area because of course it all is connected and that's what they need. They need what's natural to the specific environment. So it's been such a great learning process. I hope it's been fascinating to you as well because clearly I just can't get enough. I could talk about it forever and ever. I could make a whole video talking about these caterpillars because I truly have just been in awe and learning all of these different facts about them. It's been really fun, I'm really enjoying it. So. I hope you are too, but we also need to do other things today besides just stare at the caterpillars. So now that they're inside, that is sort of fun. We can peek on them a bit more because they're nearby, but I need to edit a video. I started a little bit this morning, but clearly have been very distracted. So I need to hunker down and get that done. And then I also need to run to the post office because I need to return something. But I'm thinking we should bike to the post office to get some vitamin D and fresh air instead of driving. We can have a nice, lovely bike ride over there. So we'll do that probably in an hour or so before it gets too toasty or before the rain rolls in. And then hopefully my video won't take too long to edit because I'd love to do some things around the house as well and get ahead for the weekend. And one of my girlfriends is actually sleeping over tonight. So we need to make sure the guest bedroom is all good to go for her. And tomorrow morning, we are waking up at 4 or 4.30 a.m. and we're gonna go to the beach to watch the sunset. So, I mean, the sunrise. <laughs> so really looking forward to that. So we'll wanna pack up the car tonight and get everything settled so that we can just roll out of bed and hit the road. But it's gonna be a super sweet next couple of days celebrating summer and crossing some things off the summer bucket list, but really looking forward to spending time with you all. I just heat up some lentil stew for lunch. I'll link a similar recipe, but I kind of winged this one. I added potatoes, garbanzo beans, lentils, and a bunch of spices and onions. It's really simple and super filling, but flavorful.
coffee made by yours truly. <sighs> such a beautiful morning i'm so thankful the weather was glorious the sunrise was also so beautiful it was so blushy pink it was heavenly and i'm about to take a shower so the plans for the rest of the day I'm gonna get some work done and then i would love to take a nap i'm not super tired yet but we did wake up at 4 a.m and tonight we're going to an escape room which this is going to be brandon's very first <laughs> escape room i've done one with a work group a few years ago and it was fun we did escape i remember we escaped so that's good but i wouldn't say it's my strong my strong suit escape rooms and i'm excited to see what brandon thinks about it but yeah i'm gonna take a shower get some work done make a coffee get that caffeine going so we can have the brain power to solve the escape room later but I wanted to show you this cover-up. It doesn't have to be a cover-up. I'm using it as a cover-up today, but it actually was a thrift store find. So I've been loving it. This is my first time wearing it, but I thrifted it earlier this month. And isn't it so cute with the colors and just the material is really unique and the buttons are sweet. So it was fun to wear this for the first time. And we didn't, oh yeah, we did use it, but we um also thrifted this pitcher and these glasses as well it came with six glasses so this is only half of the glassware but it's so neat and when i first used it people thought the drinks were actually this blue color and purple color which was funny which i could totally see that but thought these were such great vintage finds oh baby i love your madness it's so Of the day we currently have three in chrysalis 
And our final caterpillar, it is getting there, but also it's kind of hanging. This is the one I was concerned about and it has this odd leg. I'm not sure why it's kind of caught on the neck it looks like, or the net, but maybe that's intentional. I don't know, but it's a little bit of a funkier shape than the other ones were. So it's just positioned in that shape. So I'm not sure, but hopefully they'll make it okay. of caterpillar updates so now all four are in their chrysalis i'm so excited i think i'm actually going to move the net outside on the patio i'll just need to put something at the bottom to weigh it down so it doesn't get blown away that would be so sad did not escape the escape room we didn't do it we okay so we were doing pretty well and it just went so quickly and it was a blast it was so much fun i'm so glad we did it but of course bummed we didn't escape but i will say something that made us feel better is that the escape room that we did was the hardest one that they had and <laughs> we didn't well I've done it before once as a team building exercise I believe I shared that um but Brandon had never done it before so it was totally new to him and of course we started out with the hardest one so it was a really fun time though and I would love to do more soon I definitely sort of cut myself short when it came to escape rooms I just don't think of myself as someone who is really good at res uh, at puzzles riddles or decoding but I actually got into it and I was you know trying to hold my weight so I enjoyed it more than I even remembered or thought I would so that was really fun but we're gonna call it a night I am terribly sleepy I feel like my sentences aren't fully forming at this point so gonna have some sweet dreams but I'll see you tomorrow
just got out of the shower, but we went to the farmer's market this morning and I wanted to take you because I love the farmer's market and I love you and we haven't been together in a while. So it's sort of an eclectic random haul today, but we got some eggs, we got some burrata, some locally made fresh burrata, so, so good. It's the creamiest, I absolutely love burrata. Some red onion, I wanna make pickled red onion. I haven't made that in about a month, but so good and we were on a roll with making that quite frequently tomatoes garlic told you it's pretty random some fresh guacamole turmeric i'm gonna add this to smoothies i usually get ginger but they didn't have any ginger but they had some turmeric root so thought i would switch it up some lettuce and that's it so a quick eclectic farmer's market haul but it was a beautiful start to the morning and my grammy's actually almost here and she's gonna have lunch and then we're going to my cousin's dance recital and then after that i have my friend face birthday party so it's a full day but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i love you all so much i'm so thankful for you thank you for spending the past few days with me i hope you are well and having a beautiful summer season and i cannot wait to see you next bye